I'm Michael Christelvede, together with Julian Kreinstra, I have some architectural office in Amsterdam, and we designed this rubber house. Uh, our office is just in doing experiments with the material, and um, we don't like only making buildings. We make some buildings, but we also make things like, uh, we make one, one time a uh, tumble house, which is a house that you can tumble with six doors. It's a little strange, but it's reference to architecture, and uh, this rubber house is also really something which is designed by architects, I will explain later. Um, together with Chi uh, Hyo, I make also stage design, and we work for some six years together, and um, in the beginning he gave me a script, from a, a theatre piece and I had to read the script and be very precisely in which scene I have to need, we need which uh, background, which scene design. It's a complex thing and I'm a little bit lazy so I started uh, reading it very roughly and think I want one concept on the stage and this uh, developed uh, every time we did it, it became more and more an autonomous uh, design actually on the stage. Our last thing was a musical and I made one cube and in this cube uh, you could move everything, you could uh, make from doors stairs and you could put it upside down and round uh, and that was the thing which was the stage designed for a very complex uh, musical with many different locations and so after this we thought it's, it's interesting because he is very good in working with, uh, uh, yeah, with, with these autonomous things. So we thought, okay, we do it all the way around. Now I, as a designer, make one installation and he will make afterwards uh, a performance or a theater piece. That's the background of this uh, project of the River House. Then we find we, you cannot make anything without any team. So we were uh, uh, thinking, what should I make? Because there is no script, so it's a little difficult. But then he came with an actress, and this actress had a problem with, uh, with her skin. Actually, she had the, the, the illness of Crohn. I don't know how you call it in English, but anyway. Uh, and I am actually fascinated that skin, people who have problems with skin, they also have problems with their lungs and their, their lungs which is breathe with it, also skin and also with their whole digestion which is also all skin. So I was fascinated by people are made out of skin and then we came on the idea of making something from rubber, material which you can push in and push out and, and change which is a very flexible skin. So I made many uh, models, but then I find out that yeah, only skin is very weak. You, you cannot it need a construction, it needs a frame, and, uh, something to keep it up. But I didn't really believe that, so I tried. I did. I made many uh, experiments with rubber, and I made it more and more massive. And then I, I made one uh, small box, which is actually very simple, squared angled, and I made an egg out. In, in the inside, it's just the air is egg forming. Uh, this form comes from, yeah, on every uh, angle you have a kind of beam, a triangle beam. It's very, the form is very based on, on how can you uh, make a structure from mass from material with with isn't um, like concrete uh, strong enough but it's just made out of mess rubber mess uh, that's actually where the whole form or the whole thing comes from it's it's, uh, it's an, an angle thing with an egg digged out as if it were and when we saw this model first it was uh, meant to be a gas gaber so it was meant to to get to be able to sleep in it so it was um, it was a horizontal um, shoe box, but uh, by accident we put it on the table uh, um, erected, and then we thought, wow, this is very beautiful, and that's actually a very simple thing, so it uh, actually uh, came out of an experiment about construction with rubber. 
and then when we made it it was very difficult to to pour in once such a big uh, form and uh, the, the egg is made from um, uh, styro, uh, what do you call styro polyester polyester very light material which wants to go up when mm. you put the heavy uh, polyurethane on it in, in the, the box which was uh, the casting of the thing so we we need a lot of um, power now first I thought I will I will be able to do it by myself but uh, when I did some research I found out now it's too complex to do this by yourself so we found anything is possible with a company in Holland who is uh, very experienced in making strange objects for artists so they uh, they made it for us and and they they did a very good job I think because it's very complex to make it it's much more complex than I was thinking in the beginning so the whole project grow and grow to a very big project it, it looks very small and simple but it was uh, a health job to to realize it like this um, and then the, the, the nice thing of mm -hmm. the funny thing of if you make uh, an experiment and if you design a very simple thing it, it gives you many things unexpectedly because like the the, the sound inside is we didn't realize it was so beautiful so I can show you oh. Sorry, uh, the acoustic are surprising <laughs> to me and also the light when the lights go through it it, 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 you get different colors in, um, so we, we, we really start loving the material and the, the material itself dictated actually the, 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 the whole design um, so now it, it's, it's finished and now uh, Chi will uh, I have a question yeah, make uh, how it comes that, uh, that the, the, the lower house comes to, to over house because uh, we were a kind of <laughs> invited by Gus Geber, it's a complex story, but uh, Hans uh, Fenhuizen uh, knew this was a very beautiful site for the rubber house. So, that's, so then uh, he brings us in contact with you. That, and but, you know, I went here and I liked it also. I agreed with Hans that it's a very beautiful place. And, uh, that's why it is here, mm -hmm. and also because you liked it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and the, the, then the, the question was to the industrial museum to put it together with the, 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 the installation here, no? Yes. Yeah. Oh, because uh, the owner of the of the area is the industrial museum. Yes. So we are very thankful that they like it to have it here. Yeah. And then guys uh, goes to Bochum, no? Right? Yeah, in one month, to when? the beginning of October. Yeah. For a theater festival. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it, it, it's very, I think it's very good. I forgot to say that uh, as an architect, normally you, you are very busy working for clients. And actually this uh, whole project doesn't have any client. It's our own initiative. But mm -hmm. We get the money from uh, the Fonds BKVB, it's a Dutch art uh, fund, and yeah, it's very good that they support such projects that we can do these experiments, and uh, very grateful for it. Uh, thank you. Great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.